Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Is the new 6,000 AC or $25 Shadow Stalker of Time class worth it? It ain't my fault. Okay guys, so the class came out tonight. I got to rank 10 very fast and then uh, started using it for PvP, uh, farming bosses, farming multiple mobs at once, trying all those different things so I could get a good feel for what the class was used for and how to use the class. Quickly figured out, it's a very decent PvP class. Pretty good at boss farming honestly, uh, it has a heal. And it does do like good dot damage up on screen right now should be a screenshot of a 20k dot um, I wish the dot lasted a little bit longer uh, that's about my only complaint that and the price tag of course so the class was unlocked by going to this guy in battle on and buying the time lock key so you buy that 6,000 ACs a lot of money $25 so it, the easiest way to get it is to buy the 5k ACs right now. Uh, don't add the extra boost because those are a scam. Uh, so the 20, well not a scam, but they're not worth it. Um, the $20 uh, has an extra 2,000 ACs when you buy it at the moment. So you'll have all the ACs you need from just buying that. So I'd recommend doing that if you want to buy the class and you have zero ACs right now. Uh, but is it worth it? 25 so odd dollars that this will cost uh, in my honest opinion it's not but for some people it is so if you don't want to wait for shipping on the calendar and you don't want the other calendar items including the character page badge the blue variant of the set in aqw uh the really cool chrono set in aq3d uh the items in the other artist artist entertainment games and having the physical calendar if you don't want any of those things then yeah, you can spend your money. You're you're paying the same amount minus shipping uh, for the class as you would for the calendar. So you are kind of getting ripped off a little bit, but not to the point where it's a big deal. Uh, you are losing a bit of value, but you're still getting the class. So you don't have to wait for shipping or anything like that. Uh, for the people that pre-ordered it, they already got their codes for it. But if you didn't pre-order it, you can still order the calendar from portal.baladon.com and get the blue version of the class. And the blue version also comes with this red version also. So you'll get both, both versions in game and a character page badge to go with it. So in my opinion, if you want to pay for the class and you want to buy it, uh, I'd recommend getting the calendar if you can wait for it. Uh, if you don't mind waiting. Uh, if you have money to spend on the class, it you'll have fun with it. It's a good class. It deals good damage. Let's go to a boss right now and let's deal some damage. All right, here we are in Pirate. So the class does have multi-target. This isn't a class guide, by the way. Um, my enhancements are as follows. And I would recommend these. I'm using Luck on my weapon, which I'm using full stable. I am using... Wait, why does it only do 69 damage? I guess it's because of the enhancement, right? <laughs> um, I'm using hybrid on the class, hybrid on the helmet, and hybrid on the cape. At least, I, oh, I'm not using hybrid on the cape. I'll change that. I'm now using hybrid on the cape. My bad. So here are three different mobs. So our two will hit two out of the three. And we'll have five, four, three. That's the combo I like to use when farming. Is five, four, three. Like I said, not a class guide, it's a should you buy it, and uh, I've already saved the opinion on that, but now I just kind of like to show you guys the class in use. So there you go, we took good care of those guys. Took them out relatively quickly. Uh, but this isn't really for farming. I mean, it kind of like, it kind of reminds me a lot of Blaze Binder in a certain way, with the DOT and the multi-target. Although I think Blaze Binder can hit three targets at once. I think so, maybe not. I might be wrong about that, but, Bosses is where this class is at. If you have a Stone Crusher buff in you, oh, whew, that's how I hit the 20k that you saw on my Twitter, and then I put the screenshot up of. Uh, that's how we hit that. So, like I said, uh, five four three is my combo, and I like to hit the two skill in between going five four three. So uh, for PvP, you want to hit uh, the three skill first because that slows down time, uh, which increases your dodge chance. So you want to do that first. 
so you have a good dodge chance at the beginning of a PvP round, because that's usually when most of the PvP damage happens within the first few seconds of the match. Of course, depending on the class you're facing, and if RNG is in your favor. Uh, so as you can see, we're, we're whittling down on his health pretty fast. This guy has a decent endurance. Um, the rank 10 passive on this class gives you the ability to randomly stun your opponent and increase your dodge chance. Uh, I couldn't find a percentage for that to happen. I'm going to guess it's 1%, but that is just a guess. We don't really know. I'm going to drag him over here so you can see the damage dealt better. Uh, for what well, you can read, but it has a good increase to critical damage and an increase to endurance as your rank four and uh, yeah that's about it like i'd highly recommend getting the class to rank 10 because that random stun could be helpful in both pvp and farming and uh but their use case scenario for this class that's probably best is farming a boss and going for those big damage over times now it does kind of struggle with mana a bit but if you oh 3.9k there you won't often hit 20k on the critical, of course, especially if you don't have a stone crusher buffing you. Now we're hitting decent damage, another 3k there. So if you're using unstable, I was getting a lot better results with this class as an unstable class. I don't know. Um, of course, your experience may vary, but I'm using full stable right now. That's why we're not hitting any decent high crits because to get the high crits you need to use unstable uh anyway guys that's the video uh to recap is it worth it no if you don't have a lot of acs but if you can get your hands on more acs and acs aren't a rare commodity for you uh say you're getting like a a gift for um christmas or something like that and you want to spend that money on acs I wouldn't recommend buying this class honestly because you can get three classes for the same price as this one single class and like getting arch paladin stone crusher blaze binder or some of the new classes that are going to come out is probably a lot better than getting just this one class honestly but it depends on your situation whether or not you really like the class and uh, if you want to see more of this class being used you can check out my live stream uh the vod for the live stream the that is the last upload on my channel. So if you want to watch more of this class being used, me hitting huge crits and farming with it, then you can check out that live stream or go check out some of the other AQW content creators on YouTube. Check out their videos, check out their class guides, uh, search um, the name of the class and then go into the filters and recent and you might find some other people that make good videos on this class. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Tell me whether or not you bought the class and why you bought the class if you bought it for ACs. Uh, and uh, definitely get it for a cal as a calendar if you live in the United States and shipping isn't too expensive. Because the calendar is a much better deal than buying the class in-game for ACs. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all in the next.